Howdy y'all, I'm Around the Wheel, and you're watching Medieval Times Dinner and Tournament. And today, we're starting with level 3 of the very last tribe in our journey. That is all in a night's work, again with the screaming in the all caps. We've got uh, one exploder, so that's going to be how it is, I see. Uh, not much in the way of a task load, and three minutes to get the job done here. Not much time for wandering and looking around, so we're going to take a pause at the start and check out the levels, see what we're up against here as soon as it loads. The game does have slow loading times. I feel like I'm really pushing it having to to talk through those loading times, really straining the limits of my capability for extemporaneous speech. But we got a catapult here. But yet, just as I thought I remembered seeing a catapult, a little medieval antecedent to the cannon. Looks like we're going to be want to be launching to get up into here. We're going to be shooting some baskets and uh, making our way where? Where to? Ha <laughs> ha! Cool dragon. Holy moly. Got kind of a giant head. He's a little, he's a little cartoony. Love those tusks, though. Got a giant floating ethereal chalice out in the middle of nowhere. Okay, here's our exit. So, our platformers go here, obviously. Um, what do we do? Okay, let's see. And we've got a roper. Stacker. Okay, I'm going to try to feel this one out. Let's go ahead and have somebody jump to the... Let's, let's adjust the cannon. Or, I, I'm calling it the cannon. It is, for all intents and purposes, a cannon. But, uh, let's, let's see. Just jump over. You get on up in there. Well, that's a cute little animation. I like that. A little more involved. Uh-oh, swing and a miss. That's no good. Okay, well, we need to move it a little farther up then. It doesn't quite go to the middle. But the middle is a good starting point, I think. Let's go ahead and, uh, maybe tilt it a little less toward the middle. Alright, so you get on... They can just go into here, and I can stomp them out when the time comes. So, they're safe doing what they're doing. I think I'm going to need another lemming. Oh, man. Do you have to move the catapult at all? What a tricky move. How, how dare they? See what happens if I don't move the catapult at all. How tricky of them to do that. Make it seem like you have to move it. Put those giant, tempting, flashing arrows on it, and then... Turns out, nah, you don't have to move it at all. It's just fine. So, when they come down in here... So, I'm going to be exploding... Yeah, there we go. Alright. So, I'm going to be exploding here, which is going to require some walking bomber timing. Any visual landmark I can use to get a good count, or am I just going to have to get a good count? I have a place I can start from. Let's... Let's... Okay, so... So, we go ahead and stomp through here. We'll be sending another one eventually. And uh, let's go ahead and we have to build up a stack and then stomp when he's facing right. And there we go. All right, so now I'm going to go ahead and time my bomber for here. Just right here, right in the middle. Right smack in the middle. Two, one. Not quite, although it did blow through that like it... Okay, so this isn't actually steel. Okay, I thought we were going to be going underneath. This is steel right here, not this. Th this is just rusted metal. I guess there's no... <laughs> For some reason, the game makes a, makes a discernible difference between steel areas and other types of metal. Very bizarre, but... Okay, I'm just going to need to get a little closer to the wall then. All right, there we go. That is a perfect hole. So now we can send, now we can send another one on the way, and we've got our stack built, just a tiny stack, and he jumped off to the right. So this one is now, this one is now free to turn around here, and so we're going to I believe we're going to take our roper so that when they fall down here, we're going to rope up to here so that a uh, makes another like wall of sorts. This is a pretty simple level. This is uh, this is uh, about as simple as it gets, I would say. There we go. And then just platform across the tar. I like the tar. Cool color, cool bubbling effect. Uh, looks sufficiently scary. 
I don't recall tar pits being a concern in the medieval. Does it only take one platform to get across there? It sure does. Wow, that's a, uh, that's some. Uh, there we go. That's a nice little bit of luck there. Looks like it all measures out evenly to me. Raise up your scythe and get back to the fields. The fallow fields. It's going to be a good harvest this year. Let's go ahead and get y'all to the end there. Yeah, only one platform. I thought it would take the, the both of them to get across there, but that one ends up being a spare. Well, I'll be dang. Good deal. Okay, well, another simple level. Medieval is not proven to be terribly difficult so far. We have not... We have not hit the plague, and though one lemming goes down, that still makes a gold attempt because we did have to use that exploder for the intended solution. Coming up next, level four, what's it going to be? What awaits us as we make our way toward the end of the game proper? Watch that last step. Seven minutes for this one. Uh, I think I see another giant head, tiny body dragon up in the corner. Club Asher, a surfer. Uh, am I going to have to use the surfer? Surf in UK over here. Sand pourer. They really like using the sand pourer for this tribe. But we also can pour glue. That's cool. Sand or glue. My pick, I suppose. Fielder's choice. Stacker. And four stackers. Okay, so watch that last step. It must be, as they said in those days, ye old doozy. So let's let's hit it. Okay, so they're going that way. I think I'm going to be holding people in, maybe with two stackers. How how far are we going here? This is right for glue pouring. This is not. So we want to... Okay, we're going to be surfing across this. So yeah, I'm going to be forced to use my surfer, it looks like. May have to use... Let's see. This is a safe drop right here. Yeah, there are no digging tools except for the club basher which is going to be used here sand pourer to get out of here another glue pourer right here sand pourer sand pourer glue pourer so that's going to go all the way to the wall which i'll club bash through so i'm going to have to get them i'm going to have to make a stack i see okay and it's going to have to be when he comes over from the right. I see it already. Okay, I'm going to be having to make a stack that they can land on in just the right spot. That's going to be that's going to be a heck of a fall, but I think I can manage it. All I have to do here is let's see. I'm going to go ahead and actually I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go ahead and make a stack up here. How many lemmings are going to get past that, though? Looks like at least one is going to get past it. And that could be trouble. Um, I don't want to quite hold them in at the beginning. But two of them will go to the right if that's the case. And I can't be having that. So... Only the surfer is intended to go across here. Nobody else can cross that pit. Let's just see let's just see what happens with a stacker. One lemming is gonna get past. Yeah, one two. That's a that's a big problem. Cause this is gonna be okay, yeah, this is gonna be fatal. Yeah, that's not that's not good. And two lemmings get past there. How are we gonna how are we gonna hold it back? Well we do have three stackers. Looks like we can do two to kind of delay, delay them. Okay, so one, one lemming gets past, one lemming goes on and does the work. Hmm. Okay, one lemming goes on and does the work and stacks himself. This lemming is going to build a stack himself somewhere in here. Because he's got to be the one that goes past. Okay, so the other two stackers, maybe even three, are going to be like a stalling tactic of some sort. Okay, okay, okay. So we're going to use stackers to stall. So like as soon as you touch ground, okay, that's just going to get them blocked in. And I didn't, I didn't want that per se. Maybe we only need one stacker to stall it. What happens if we do it right at the mouth of the entry here? It's going to get up into it. And that might get weird. 
I think there's enough space between him here. So what happens with that? Okay, they just kind of spill out to the right of it. That's that's satisfactory. So I think one lemming might actually get past this. Yeah, I'm going to need two to stall. That's going to... Okay. Uh, so maybe the one... Okay, let's try it. And boop. Uh, what what are you doing? Why are you doing? Why are you doing? Why are you doing what you're doing? Why are you doing this the way you're doing it? I don't like it. Okay, so. Okay, I can't get right next to him and do it. But I think I can go ahead and just have one do it. I think I can go ahead and have one do it right here. And then have this one go. Yeah, so one's going to get past. Oh, what? Well, I was one pixel off there, so that throws that up. Okay, yeah. So it's just kind of a stacker game here. Nope, that's too many pixels off from the exit. It's got to be as soon as he drops. I think that's going to be one pixel off again. I think that's going to throw him off, maybe. Uh, but let's go ahead and get them going. Nobody's walking off into the abyss this time, it looks like. So they can each build. There we go. But yeah, but now it's now it's blocking them out. Yeah, I've got to be dead on. Okay, there they go. Now they're spilling up out and over, and that should be that should contain everybody. Okay, so now it's pretty much just getting to the exit. I think that. Okay, that looks good. That looks good to me. So we're gonna go ahead and pour the glue. There we go. Nice little. Okay, we've got a thing going here. Okay, the surfer. I've never successfully used the surfer before, but I'm gonna have to be on it. Is there a hotkey for the fan? I'm going to try F. F is not the hotkey for the fan. What about F9? F10? F11 isn't pause anymore. Okay, so I'm just going to have to be really quick on this. This is the only part I have left to get working. So we're going to hit it here. You're going to bloop in the water. Okay, and now I'm going to blow you across. There we go. That's how it works. You do have to be a little bit quick with it, and I appreciate the hop on the way out. That's very nice. Okay, so it's not as bad as it seemed initially the first time I was confronted with a surfer. That's not so bad. Okay, so so what we're going to do then is pour sand to let you out of here. i got to be sure to do it a little bit away from the edge so that the bucket doesn't get, so the bucket doesn't get uh, knocked back. There we go, and should zip over clean. There we go. All right, and that's just, and that's it. There's where the club basher goes. Kabam! All right. That glue held up to a nice club bashing very well. So that's it. That's it. That's all we got to do is now we just got to pour the sand and let him out. I hope that's enough of a... That was the sound of my palm hitting my forehead. In case... In case you couldn't tell there. Alright, there you go, you poor stupid idiot. There we go. Now they're successfully to the exit. Now we have it done. That was that wasn't a bad level. Just some execution issues on my end. Entirely my fault. Still wondering if that creepy floating hand is a trap. The floating objects in the medieval tribe are are extremely weird and off-putting, and I have to wonder if they're going to fall on me, or if they're going to do stuff to me. Well, not to me, you know, but to the Wimmings, that is. There we go, another one down. That is, this one is, this tribe is moving along at quite a nice clip, and I am appreciating it very much. Let's see what we've got coming up next. And hey, I finally learned how to use the Surfer. How many levels in? 114? It was about time. Let's see what we got. King Arthur's Lemmings, his brain trust. Three bombers, bombers, the ones that uh, preserve life, except insofar as the blast radius might cause someone to die. Who knows? Regular builders in this one. Regular tiny builders. I tend to prefer platformers now, but uh, the builder is cool too. We got a little bit of classic action going here. And an attractor. Okay, we're going to be using that attractor for sure then. So what have we got? What have we got? Six limits. Six limits. No, six minutes. Bleh, 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 to solve King Arthur's Lemmings. So we're going to be... 
Obviously club bashing through the trees. That's our one club basher. I don't see much other way over that. Unless we're going to be bombing through the trees. That might be uh, interesting. So, looks like... Okay. The bombing is going to get a little dirty. But I can see it kind of going bop, 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 diagonal. Okay, I think we're looking at a pretty simple one here. We're going to go ahead and start this guy bashing. Because as long as he's got something to do, then the uh, then the attractor is good to go. No, we need you we need you going through the thing. Okay, maybe I need to maybe I need to dip a little. Bomb a little and then bash. Uh, because that is not that is not, that, that's a little too much space there. I think I might have to get a little more down and, yeah, he's not just going to go cleanly through all those trees. It's not, we're not dealing with a beast of a level here or anything. This is, this is the actual big time. So let's go ahead and, uh, I guess, this is, this is a nice little spot to blow. Here we go. All right, so this should get it going so we can have a continuous, yes, there we go. Okay, so... Someone besides the club basher start playing some music. There you go. And the club basher will continue on his merry way, doing his thing. Very nice. Okay, so... Alright, so we're gonna get going here. May have to make the club basher do his thing sooner. I hope he gets far enough away to not start dancing. Although, it looks like I have a spare... Okay, alright, so... Oh yeah, you're gonna go all the way to the end there, I see. So I think we're going to want to build over this, may take two bridges, but I somehow doubt it. This, this looks a little too precarious to go down this way. I think we're going to want to go down through the top, starting from like here and making maybe a stun fall. This could get, okay, this could get a little bit dicey here. Looks like it's going to take both my builders to get over here, so that's why we have two of them. Ooh, I like the little teal color of the bridge. That's that's very pleasant. Okay, so need the rest to get across, so got to use that other one. So I only have two bombers to do this. I had to make a dip to get the club basher through. But I think that's just the cost of business. So, yeah, one bridge was not going to cut it, making it across there, I don't think. The dimensions are just not there. So I'm going to have to figure this out in two, I bet. Let's see. What's the best... What's the best place to start blasting from? I'm going to start from right here. Oh, no. That is not going to give me nearly the dip that I need. That's no good. No. Maybe from, like... Maybe from here to j mitigate it just enough. I think doing it from here will give me just enough height to make this a stun fall. At least I hope. That's such a simple little beat, but I love it. Okay, Club Basher, get on with your dirty sinful business. There you go. Alright, so let's... There you go. Get right up on that edge and do it to it, as they say. We can maybe... We can make no. I keep being tempted by this, but I don't feel like it's a smart move. I kind of want to just get up on the edge of this here and make this work, because I think if I blow this up, it looks like a fatal fall from here. But it looks like one bomber might be enough, or maybe even two, given the given the little given the blast radius that we have here. Oh yeah, that might get really cute. Okay. Oh, yeah, that's definitely a safe fall. If I would be really surprised if that was fatal. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so where's my where's my minstrel? There he is. Okay, bard, you're done. I think we got your, uh, I think we got the buffs we needed out of you. So there we go. They're going to walk to the end. Another pretty simple medieval level. Done and done. Medieval is, I'm barely breaking a sweat, which running into the home stretch. Uh, I think we could all use a little break from tough levels. So this is a this is a nice, cute little tribe. Nice tile set. Great music. I'm really digging the song in this one, as you can tell by my little uh, bounce bounce 
uh, mouth harping along with the harmony there. But there we go. Yeah, we are halfway through. I I reckon it'll only take two more episodes to finish this off. So yeah, I am definitely seeing a light at the end of the lemming tunnel here. Who? Ray.